Good evening. Let me first uh, thank my good friend, the gentleman from the Empire State, uh, the co-anchor, Mr. Jeffries. It has been a pleasure now for the first six months of our term in this 113th Congress to work with you uh, to bring these issues to the floor each uh, week on behalf of the Congressional Black Caucus. And uh, I really have appreciated your friendship, uh, your perspective, uh, and your intelligence on so many issues, and I look forward to continuing uh, to work with you. Uh, and to my other colleagues, uh, the dynamic freshman class, uh, it's so great to have colleagues uh, who work together, who have a like-mindedness mind, like uh, to represent our communities and to do it in a way that addresses the needs of all people. And uh, the gentle lady from Ohio, Ms. Beatty, uh, has so many uh, experiences from the private sector uh, to her role, role working as an administrator in, in the university, the Ohio State uh, University. Uh, it's just been great to get to know her, uh, as well as uh, my good friend and colleague from New Jersey, uh, the gentleman, uh, Mr. Payne. Uh, these are individuals that have great perspective and experience and whose uh, voice on these issues are incredibly important. And I'm just pleased to be among such a dynamic group uh, that is trying to make a difference here in this 113th Congress. And so today we are here uh, to bring attention and focus to celebrating the 50th anniversary of National Small Business Week. And it is fitting that tonight's special order hour will focus on how small businesses are critical to the growth of our economy. And as we do uh, during these normal hours, uh, people can uh, follow us on hashtag CBC Talks. Uh, if you have a question or you have uh, an idea, if you have a perspective that you want heard, uh, this is your opportunity because it's not just about uh, us coming here, but it's about us listening to what it is our constituents want us to bring to the floor. You know, as my colleagues have already said, small businesses are the backbone of our economy. The CBC has fought and continues to fight to strengthen programs that create economic opportunity and foster entrepreneurship. Over the last year, small businesses in our country have created 700,000 jobs, accounting for 40% of employment gains across companies of all sizes. More than half of all Americans either own or work for a small business. So when we talk about increasing access to capital, enhancing business partnerships, and providing important technical assistance, the CBC is talking about the small businesses who are the engines of our economy. And we have solutions, and they're solutions that we hope uh, our colleagues on the other side will uh, work with us to pass because they're the right solutions for America. Solutions like Representative Rush's expanding opportunities for Main Street. You know, so much focus uh, is always on Wall Street, but we want to bring the issues of Main Street and small businesses to this body. Whether it's Representative Richmond's Microprise and Youth Entrepreneurship Development Act, making sure that we are helping uh, new businesses uh, and young entrepreneurs have the resources they need to start and grow their business. Or whether it's Representative Clark's Expanding Opportunities for Small Businesses Act. The CBC is working on solutions. And these are the types of real uh, policies that are before this body. And we would urge our colleagues on both sides of the aisle to work with us to make these uh, bills law. These bills, if enacted, would greatly enhance the small business landscape for minority entrepreneurs. You know, I had an opportunity recently to visit the American History Museum. And when you're there and you reflect on our history as a nation and you see the important contributions that African Americans have made to the establishment and growth of our great nation, whether it be in politics or government, 
civil rights or social justice, and yes, entrepreneurship. It's African Americans who have helped build our country, and it's African American businesses that need to be part of our plan for economic growth. Three issues that I hear most from my constituents, small business owners, uh, that I believe have to be at the center of our discussion as we celebrate the 50th uh, anniversary of Small Business Week is number one, access to capital. Uh, whether it be on uh, the need for lines of credit uh, to help with the day-to-day -day operations of a business or capital loans to help a business buy new equipment uh, so that they can expand or grow. The second issue, equal opportunity to bid on and win contracts, uh, both in the private sphere, but most importantly in our role, also the federal contracting opportunities. Uh, you know, when I look at the amount of money uh, that, are, that is being spent by these federal uh, agencies and to know that there are not the types of efforts to really provide outreach uh, or support to our minority and women owned and veteran owned businesses is something that uh, the Congressional Black Caucus believes has to be a priority. And third is the need to ensure compliance with minority participation in federal contracting. And this is an area uh, to my good friend uh, from New York, I, I hope that we will be able to work on. I know the ranking member uh, over small business, uh, this is a priority of hers as well, and I want to see what we can do to hold accountable every agency to do their part to ensure that there's ample participation from all communities. You know, in April, I held my first small business forum with my constituents that focused on creating good paying jobs through federal contracting opportunities. We held another one recently on access to capital. And it was the Small Business Administration, uh, which was there, that talked about uh, the fact that they deliver millions do of dollars of loans, contracts, counseling sessions, and other forms of assistance to small businesses. Well, we sought to replicate that type of support in our district with our, with our small business owners. We had representatives from various agencies attend, and they mapped out strategies for local businesses who are looking to grow and add more workers. We had representatives from agencies, including the Department of Defense, the General Service Administration, the Department of Energy, the Department of Veteran Affairs, the Environmental Protection Agency, and the Small Business Administration, as well as our Governor's Office of Economic Development. The forum provided a great opportunity to discuss our plan to create jobs in our local community. Over 60 local small business owners attended the event. Along with representatives from federal agencies, other business owners helped local residents and aspiring entrepreneurs figure out how to position themselves to compete for federal contracts and grants. Those grants create jobs in our local community. And job creation and economic growth is what we should be about as we talk about celebrating National Small Business Owners Week. What was most rewarding uh, to my friend from New York was a panel of young entrepreneurs. We had young people who are still in high school who have a business plan for how they can create everything from uh, backpacks uh, to marketing to uh, social marketing opportunities. And these are young people with ideas, with passion, with vision, but we want to make sure that they have the right support as well. So listening to those young people made me appreciate just how important these resources are and why we need to continue to work uh, to make them a reality. Let me finish my remarks at this point by talking about the need for uh, business to business uh, partnerships and making sure that we have these face to face meetings. Those who know the